I'd always wanted a Mustang base and the way that the internet was rising and, you know, there was new outlets to, to find, hard to find stuff. Um, you know, I really wanted a Mustang base and they started making them again. So I got this idea where I was like, oh, maybe I could build this, this dream base of mine. So we'll see what happens. And, and so I got in touch with Fender. You know, my entire musical career, I've been playing Fenders and I was a huge fan. And I told them my idea and they were like, you know, that's, you know, that's a really good idea. We haven't made a signature Mustang in a long time. And they were like, yeah, that would be really perfect. So it just kind of was, it was really good timing. It, it worked out. There was, a, there was an old Fender guitar called the Supersonic that um, Gerard finally actually got his hands on one, but it was, it was something we'd, you know, we'd look up on the internet. We'd be like, whoa, the Supersonic. You know, it was something that looked, it looked a little bit like this. Um, and I was always a fan of the, the competition stripe. Everything had a racing stripe on it in the 70s. You know, it was kind of like a symbol of power, symbol of uh, speed. It's a throwback to the, the kind of retro styling of the 70s. As far as the finish, though, it's it's definitely a nod to musicians like David Bowie, Ace Frehley, um, you know, some of the glam stuff like uh, Manic Street Preachers. You know, it, it it's got a shorter scale neck. It, it it lends to an ease of playing, and and it, it kind of feels like you're you're playing a guitar at some points. Basically, the humbucker um, it allows for is maximum output. The sky's the limit with, with how loud you want to get. So yeah, it's kind of, you can, you can maximize uh, how loud it is and then it's still kind of clear and you could hear everything, you could hear all the picking, you could hear, uh, you know, it, it doesn't get too, too blown out. So it, it, fits, it fits what I do really well. Yeah, I really just want to thank the Fender Squire family for, for this amazing honor and, and being able to really help me actualize a dream from, it's a boyhood dream really, uh, you know, Alex Prez, Michael Schulz, and Chris Gill, they were really such a huge part in making this, this come into reality. I wanted the, the punch and bigness of a P-Bass, but I wanted it on a shorter scale. That's exactly what they did. They gave it to me. I, I, I honestly don't think there were barely any tweaks. It, it was like perfect when they gave it to me. It was like this beam of light shot out of the sky and was like, it was, it was, a, it was a cool moment being able to, you know, see your dream realized. I was like, wow, there it is. And I plugged it in and played like a dream. And uh, I've been using it live ever since. Yeah, we just, yeah, we just, yeah, we just, yeah, we just,